NVIDIA 1650 and 1650 Ti are two entry-level graphics cards that can be found in many laptops from different brands. But which one should you choose, and how much more should you be paying for the better card? Are you considering either one of these two graphics cards for gaming and not sure which one to get? Then this video will help you to make an easier decision. Stay tuned to find out which card is the right one for you. NVIDIA originally launched the 1650 with GDDR5 memory. When the 1650 Ti card was released, it had a faster GDDR6 memory. So NVIDIA updated their 1650 lineup to include the same GDDR6 memory as the Ti version. These two cards are quite similar in many ways. They are built on the same chip, share the same bus, and offer the same bandwidth. Interestingly, the TI version actually offers lower bass and boost frequency compared to the stock 1650. However, with a TGP of 55 watts, the 1650 Ti will offer more power headroom versus its older sibling. I previously made a video on the Asus Stuff A15 gaming laptop with AMD's latest 4000 series mobile CPU, the R54600H, paired with an entry level NVIDIA GTX 1650. Today we have the same Tough A15 gaming laptop, but equipped with the 1650 Ti graphics card. As I will be comparing two laptops from the same brand, that has the same CPU and uses the same chassis, this will be a direct apples to apples comparison, and give you a more realistic picture of what to expect when choosing between these two cards. If you are interested in the Tough A15 gaming laptop, I will leave a link to the full review in the descriptions below. Let's jump straight into Gaming Benchmarks. As always, I'm testing all games with the highest possible graphical settings. VSync is turned off, and I'm testing all games in 1080p resolution. In Hitman 2, I'm seeing around a 10% increase for the 1650 Ti, and notice how it's also drawing more power, which translates to more heat and thus higher temperature. Witcher 3 showed a similar result, between 10 to 15% advantage for the 1650 Ti over the standard 1650. The third game I tested was Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Everything was turned on to max settings. The temperature stayed a couple of degrees higher as well, but this was expected given the 1650 Ti draws 5 watt more power and thus releases more heat. Shadow of the Tomb Raider has a built in benchmark and it scored 49 FPS for the 1650 Ti versus 44 FPS for the 1650 card. This translates into 11% performance gain for the 1650 Ti. So it wasn't a surprise that the 1650 Ti is a faster card than the standard 1650. How much faster depends on the specific game as we could see in these tests. Generally speaking, the 1650 Ti is in average around 10 to 15% faster than the standard 1650. This could be the difference between being able to run certain games at a solid 60 frames per second versus settling for a lower graphics quality. Now, as with all games, you will be able to bump up your FPS if you tune down on the graphics. So in all fairness, you are sort of getting what you are paying for. Bottom line, if you are on a budget, then the 1650 is a great choice. Should you have some more cash to spend on the gaming laptop, you could squeeze a little bit more performance from your games by going for the TI version. This video could serve as a reference for those of you considering between the two cards. Now, of course pricing could change over time, and sometimes resellers will run sales, which will make certain models more affordable compared to the standard price. Under normal circumstances, if the price premium is no more than 15% over the 1650, I would say the 1650 Ti card is a fair deal over the 1650. If you found the content useful, or if you feel like you learned something today, then feel free to share this knowledge to your friends. I would also be very grateful if you give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel for more tech videos like this one. Have a wonderful day until we meet again. As always, I will see you in the next video.